How's everybody doing today? You're watching Slot Car Mayhem. I'm John, and this will be the 13th episode of the Glendale 65. And today we're going to do an overview of the uh, demo of the layout with the systems in place as it sets right now. So that being said, what I'm going to be doing is I'm also going to be sharing the uh, screen. I'll be posting that over there off to the side, and you'll be able to see the Smart Race screen running a lot better with the layout as a whole, so you can kind of see how everything works together. I've also moved my wireless devices over here so you can see them activate and deactivate and do what they have to do. And right now the control unit is off. Uh, the system is set up just like I would if I just came in here and turned everything on and I'm going to get ready to run a race and I'll show you how easy it is to set up for a race and proceed with one with the weather and everything activated, so let's get started. Okay, I'm over here, I'm at my control unit now, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and turn it on. Uh, but before I do, I wanna go ahead and I wanna get my screen shared, so let's pop it up over here. And you should be seeing the uh, my regular screen here. Now before I do anything, since I just turned the unit on, right here, if you look, I've got a button that says Reset Connection. And this is a routine I wrote, and basically what it will do is it will send a signal to the extra devices and the devices when they receive the signals each they will each send a signal back to the VIM 3 which is being displayed on the screen and when it receives those signals it will generate a tone and you'll get little messages at the bottom of the screen so let's take a look and see how that works and there's my tone and you can see my little messages pop up at the bottom of the screen let's go ahead and try it again just to make sure there, did you catch all that? Okay, that means my connections are real good. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and start the smart race and we'll see how things move. Now I'm sure you've noticed the everything woke up here are now active and it has alerted me that the secondary devices are active which are these and this is my fast clock and like I said it's set to start at 7 o'clock just before uh, sunset and I'm running at a speed of 48 and this is the weather and it's uh, going to give it some time to stabilize then it's going to go into the weather test itself real quick and we'll be ready to start our race there you go. You just heard the uh, rain kick in momentarily and shut itself off. That means we're ready to go. So far I haven't touched anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my control unit. And it kicks right in. You can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and set up for a new race. Now if you're familiar with Smart Race, this is no different. We're just going to go ahead and set up our race and start it. Now if you notice, all the lights have turned green. And what the green means, if we notice on the screen, up here it says race, and over here it says prepare. Those two stati statuses are what set the lights green. And this will alert everybody in the room that the track is in race prepare mode and they need to make their way to the track and get their cars ready to go because the race is getting ready to start. That's the whole point of it. So let's go ahead and get our uh, car on the track and let's go ahead and now all we have to do is start our race. Three, two, one, go. Now you notice all the lights have changed down to mimic uh, 7 o'clock at night. Fella driving the silver number 2 Mercedes did a new fastest lap. It looks as if it would looks start like to we're going to get ready to start raining here very quickly. Fella driving the silver number 2 Mercedes did a new fastest lap. It started raining. You should switch to wet tires immediately. Fella driving the silver Okay, now you can see we're in the pits. And I'm done with my fueling. Right here I'm changing my tires. 
my fueling is complete and no doubt you can hear the thunder and the rain and you can see the lightning okay my tires are done so I'm back to the race and maybe it'll go ahead and stop the rain before the race is over that would be kind of nice doesn't always do that but the rain did start very early in this 20 lap race and of course you can program the speed changes based on weather conditions and I've got them somewhere relatively comfortable for the track considering I'm not running any guardrails right now so I do need to keep my speeds down a little bit because I do like to keep my cars looking nice Good. Okay, the rain's gonna stop. And one thing I will say, when it starts getting dark and the lightning's kicking in, it's really blinding and distracting. And that's why that's done. Okay, we're back in the pits now because the rain has stopped and we're getting our tires. And I've got enough fuel to finish the race. I'm not going to fuel up completely. And once again, we can see our tires being changed. And we're going to be going back to. Cola driving the silver number two Mercedes has finished changing the tires. All right, now we'll have our speed back. Only five laps left. Okay. Generally, I like to have about 50% fuel with five laps left. Fastest lap by Cola driving the silver number two Mercedes. Cola driving the silver number two Mercedes is in the lead. And that will guarantee I don't have to stop for fuel before I finish the race. So we're good. I'm not going to be able to have to stop. I don't have to stop for fuel to complete the race, and everything's moving right along. All right, last lap. Attention, only one lap left. All right, we'll stop right there. Okay, and you can see how it uh, the end screen when you win the race and all the lights come back to full bright. That's for safety. That way everybody can get their cars, do what they have to do. Now, if we ended the race under rain conditions, the rain would stop automatically and you would see this tire here still blue. At that point, you would want to remove any ghost cars off the track. And then we would go through the main menu and reapply the car settings. If you had ghost cars on the track at that point, they would take off when it was complete. So that's why I removed them. Now that we've ensured our settings are reset, we can go ahead and we can just terminate the smart race. And we'll do it that way. And if you look at your wireless devices, the secondary devices over there, no doubt you'll see that they're shutting themselves down automatically. So running a race in this fashion with the weather and with the lighting and everything is very intuitive, very easy to do. Some of it seemed to react a little bit slow here today. And the reason why is I changed the loop time within the routine from one second to 3.5 seconds to accommodate using the screen capture software so I could uh, show you what's being up on, presented up on the screen. Normally everything reacts much, much faster. So that's just a little side caveat about why it seemed to react a little bit slow and I'm not concerned about that. I'm just going to go ahead and change my settings back now that the screen capture is done. So that's it. You can see what we're doing here with the layout and my apologies for that big bright blue light in the back but that's necessary so when we're in night mode the whole back half of the track doesn't disappear so that's that's temporary that's the only reason why that's there uh, so you could actually see the far end of the track so that'll wrap up this episode like I said this was going to be quick and if you guys have any comments any questions anything at all please just reach out I do the best I can to try to respond to everybody as quick as I can uh, 
because you guys give some really good feedback and I appreciate all the feedback, even some of the negative stuff. I really like hearing it because, you know, we're doing this together and this is something I'm really enjoying. So thanks again so much for the subscriptions and the likes and all the good stuff. It really keeps me moving forward and keeps me excited to try to bring some better content to you guys. So if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Other than that, I want everybody to have a safe, wonderful Labor Day weekend and catch us on episode 14. I'll be going through uh, the layout for everything that we have done, where it's at, and what the next steps are going to be. We're going to outline all that because we're at a good stopping point right now, getting ready to go ahead and go into the next phase of it. So that's coming up here soon. So if you guys need to see anything, want to see anything, let me know. Have a great day. Everybody be safe. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.